Hi boys and girls, okay. We're back for our second day of painting and today we're going to switch. If you were doing warm colors last week, you're gonna do cool colors. If you were doing cool colors last week, you're gonna switch to warm colors, okay? And we're gonna be adding the, um, everybody's gonna be painting this space in here between our heart and our border. And then, this is your choice, you can add little embellishments around uh, with the opposite colors. So, since I'm going to be doing cool colors in here, my accents are also going to be cool colors on here. If you're doing warm colors, <clears throat> excuse me, warm colors in here, then your accents will be warm colors on the cool, okay? So, let's get started. Now, a lot of these colors are super dark. I don't know if I want that darker green, and I don't think I want green right next to the pink because I feel like it's going to look Christmassy. So I think I'm going to start with, I want to lighten it a little bit. I think I'm going to put a little bit of blue. And I'm just going to, I want to get this edge in here. See, this is the blue. It's pretty dark. If I add just a little bit of white to it, I like it better. Now you get to decide what color you think you want on here. You, you can use them straight out of the cups or you can mix a little bit like I'm doing. And it, this section right here is probably one of the most important ones for taking your time and doing these edges really nice and smooth, okay? I actually have a little white line in there. I could leave that or I could just try to go right along. I kind of like that little white line. I've never done it that way before. Um, but I might do that. I'm just leaving a little teeny white line. Ooh, that's going to be hard. If it goes away in one space, I'm going to fill it in everywhere because I don't want to have like one area that doesn't have it. Um, it's kind of hard though. Oh, there we go. I messed it up. So I'm just going to fill it all in. Uh, I'm going to do it right next to the pink. Okay, and then again, mine's, it's seeming pretty dark. So I'm just going to, as I'm painting, I'm just going to, I like the kind of, oh, uh, you know, painterly look of mixing colors where they're not totally mixed. So you, you'll see that I'm mixing it, but I'm not totally mixing it because I don't want it to be 100%. I like to see those those paint strokes in there and I know I have a lot of paint on my brush already so all I have to do is just kind of dip in the white and that mixes in then with the blue that's already in my brush okay once you have that colored in then you're gonna start in on what you think would look good uh, for details on the outside Remember, he just kind of lets his brush do whatever he feels like it wants to do. So just kind of see how you're feeling. Mrs. Walker will be having have some music on. Maybe you're painting to the music and it's making you feel a certain way. Um, go ahead and just add those little details. I'm going to do some, uh, like this, I did little, I just set my brush on there like that and made that one for the flowers it's kind of the same thing it's almost like stamping with your brush so um i think i dipped double dipped for those flowers i went like dip dip and so then i had purple and white and then i just did um like a brush brush it's like i'm stamping with the brush so if you wanted to do a flower you could just push push your brush down like that and it kind of stamps a little flower petal on there kind of and then i'm going to double dip again do another one. I like how it's not all one color too. It's kind of a mixture of the colors. And then I could like go back to warm colors, right? And I could put a little dot in the middle of maybe uh, yellow or pink. I think that's what I did here after I was completely done. I let this dry a little bit before I did that. Um, I haven't done any green. So I know I don't want that darker green. I'm going to do this. I could do my swirls in that. Do you have to do a swirl? No, but you could. Now that feels too dark to me, so I'm going to go over it again with some white to lighten it up. Ooh, I like that better. That lighter green looks almost minty. So really adding the white after you've added a color really makes it kind of pop. Um, yeah, this, you could just do dark if you like dark. Oh, look, that looks cool. I had two colors on my brush, and each dot is like, actually I had three colors. I could see white, a little purple, and a little green. Do you have to be careful if you're mixing all the colors? Yeah, because you can end up with what? I don't know if you said 
gray or brown, if you mix too many together, remember the primary colors mixed together will definitely give you brown or gray, so beware. If you overdo it, that's what you'll end up with. Maybe just stick to mixing two at a time so you don't have to run into that problem. And don't definitely don't mix colors that are across from each other on the color wheel because that will for sure get you uh, grays and browns. I really like the white though. White's pretty. Um, another thing I tried one time, I did um, like just X's. You could just do X's. Those look kind of cool. Especially when your brush has got a little bit of everything in it, right? <laughs> um, let's see. I don't want to do, I want to keep it, I'm trying to do symmetrical stuff. So whatever I do here, I want to do here, similar. So I need, I guess I need to do that there. You don't have to. Maybe I'll do a, um, let's see. Oh, I know, I might just do three little. You are done, be sure to um, wash out your brush. Um, if it, let everybody else finish with the paints, but this goes on the drain rack when you are completely done. And um, oh, and also take a picture for your Art Sony account.